In tonight's Health Watch now, hospital infections can be expensive to treat. And they can be even be deadly. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez, Gomez excuse me, tells us a Brooklyn hospital is using technology to prevent this from happening. That's right, guys. It's a combination of high-tech and old-fashioned hand washing. You know, frequent hand washing and alcohol sanitizers are known to be the best way to reduce infections in the hospital. But busy doctors, nurses, and staff don't always remember to wash as often as they should. Technology to the rescue. When nurse Shirley Bristol Gabin walks into a patient room, the first thing she does is use a hand sanitizer. It's probably the most important thing she can do to prevent spreading infections from the nasty germs that tend to live in hospitals. It's safety for patients, it's safety for the staff, and it's to cause contamination. But let's replay her entrance into the patient room. There's the hand sanitizer, but then she puts her hand over a little gadget called BioVigil. It's actually sensed that Shirley used the sanitizer before seeing the patient. That caused the biovigil hand to beep and turn green. Dr. Mafuza Rahman, the chief technology officer at SUNY Downstate Medical Center in Brooklyn, says the installation of the biovigil system will dramatically reduce hospital-acquired infections. There have been several studies published in major medical centers that have demonstrated anywhere from 50 to 70 to 80 percent reduction in infection rates after instituting a uh, pr protocol like this. That's a big deal. That's huge. The key to the system is infrared sensors installed outside every patient room and at hand washing sinks. They detect when a badge wearing staff member has performed hand hygiene. If it's been a little while since hand washing, it turns yellow. A little longer and it turns red, alerting the patient to wash right away. When hand hygiene is complete, putting hand over the badge turns it green. That gives patients like Gail St. John peace of mind. You see that light come on, you know, it's clean. Makes you feel better. Yeah. Now, technology like BioVigil isn't cheap, of course, but SUNY Downstate has made the commitment for patient safety, knowing that preventing just a handful of devastating infections makes the system pay for itself. Now, I'm going to show you how it works. I've got the little badge on. Uh -huh. It's red, right? Yours yep, is red. red. I actually wash my hands. It's just the demo, but I'm going to show you. So it's red. Now I'm going to use a little mm -hmm. hand sanitizer, put it here, put it over it. You got a green light, Dr. It Max. It senses the alcohol. Yeah. It senses the you alcohol. You wouldn't think paper. that medical professionals would need to be reminded, but well, I guess... You know, it's, you, there's a lot going busy, on right? in the hospital. Yeah. You get busy, a lot of things, and just need to be reminded. And, it, and it's everybody in the hospital needs to be reminded, so everybody's got their little badge on. Do they make these for rambunctious little boys? <laughs> that you, you constantly you have to remind to wash their hands? <laughs> <laughs> just don't let them touch any patients. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Max.